kwa sababu ya shida za akili tulekera baya ambapo kumbukumbu ya kanisa la kwanza la missionary lililojengwa eneo la Rabai county ya Kilifi mnamo mwaka 1846 na Dr. Lodwin Croft ilirejeshwa siku ya Ijumaa tarehe 29 mwaka huu wakati wizara ya utamaduni pamoja na balozi wa Ujerumani huko nchini Sebastian Groff ambapo alifungua rasmi yaliyokuwa makao ya Craft baada ya marekebisho ya sasa yamegeuzwa kuwa Rabai Resource Center ili kuelezea historia ya zama zile Tobias Chanji ararejelea historia ya kanisa hilo Kongwe Tarehe 11 mwezi Novemba mwaka 1843 mshenari mwenye asili ya Ujerumani Dr. John Ludwig Kraft alianza safari ya kutoka Aden pamoja na mkewe Rosin wakawasili Mombasa tarehe 3 Januari mwaka 1844 na baada ya miaka mitatu akiwa humu nchini, Krafu alijenga kituo cha kwanza cha kimishenari huko Rabai pamoja na kanisa la St Paul Anglican Church of Kenya. Shule ya kwanza ilijengwa sehemu hiyo hiyo mwaka 1946 kwa malengo ya kufunza, kusoma na kuandika. Kando na kuwa mmishenari, Krafu pia alikuwa mjuzi wa lugha kwani ndiye wa kwanza kuandika kamusi ya kwanza Kiswahili na pia kutafsiri Biblia kwa lugha ya Kikamba na ime um, amejenga uh, kanisa kanisa kwanza ya Afrika ya mash, Mashariki hapa ni kanisa nambari moja kwa na katika Afrika ya Mashariki um, na wana Kraf um, alikuwa missionary lakini mwalimu na daktari pia today we have every reason in this generation to seek to honor this great man and to secure for future generation his legacy of mission and the translation of the gospel message into Swahili language. It will be a great achievement as well as serving to enable visitors and pilgrims to reflect on their commitment to Christ as they recollect its cost to those who brought the word of God to these shores. Hata hivyo kanisa hilo na makao yake Kraf yalianza kuharibika kutokana na kukula chumvi nyingi na hivyo haja ya ukarabati. The first church facilitated the restoration of the first church so to speak a museum and Redman's cottage while the second church revitalized Dr. Kraft's residence now at the heart of this resource center. The German Kenya partnership exemplifies the power of shared values, mutual respect, and the belief that cultural heritage is a cornerstone for fostering meaningful diplomatic relationships. Katibu mkuu katika Wizara ya Utamaduni na Turathi, Umi Bashir, anasema kuwa serikali inahakikisha sehemu zote za kihistoria nchini zitahifadhiwa. This is a gateway of information that transcends the boundaries of Rabai and extends its reach to the surrounding communities. In a world where information is the currency of progress, the Rabai Resource Center will serve as a beacon of enlightenment, offering a wealth of resources that will empower individuals to explore, learn, and grow, especially our students, our young generation in this county. Serikali ya Ujerumani imekuwa ikitoa usaidizi wa kuhifadhi majengo haya ya Kraf kwani pia alihudumu kama balozi wa kwanza nchini Kenya. Katika awamu ya kwanza urekebishaji, Ujerumani ilitoa shilingi milioni sita za kuhifadhi kanisa na chumba cha Rebman. Awamu ya pili kigharimu shilingi milioni tano kukarabati makao ya Kraf ambayo kwa sasa yamekuwa kituo cha elimu. Germany of course contributed financially but the work was done by the people here and um, i would also like to thank you for the dance and for the music and for the friendly welcome here it's raining 
In Germany, we always complain if it's raining, but I know in Africa it's a blessing, so we see it as a blessing for this, for this uh, opening and also a blessing for the rest or for the, for the, for the use of this, of, of, this, um, of this location. As the PS said, it's a resource center, it's for you, it's for the youth, it's for the students to meet, and to discuss, to develop ideas, to read the books. Tobias Chanji, KT News, County Akilifi. Arifa yake Tobias Chanji, ndipo ninapota matisha mbiu weekendi tuungane saa moja siku kwenye KT ndo weekendi. Mimi ni Suleman Yeri, kwa heri kwa sasa.